My name is Harry Nolan from St. Mary's CBS in Scorty. The question that I've been examining is, what will be the most popular mode of transport in 2040 and how will it work? I think the most popular form of transport in 2040 will be a smarter e-car. I think this because 2040 is the year that the Irish government have set for petrol and diesel cars to be completely phased out. For a century, the solar panel has evolved, its capacity has grown, and it's on the brink of revolutionising transport. Absorbing light from the sun, the electrons in the solar cells are excited and given a charge. New inductive charging technologies, already available for many smartphones, use an induction coil to generate an alternating electromagnetic field, which is then absorbed by a matching induction coil in the battery. Prototypes are being tested and many e-cars will be charged wirelessly by the inductive coils in the very roads they're travelling along. Combining these two and new battery technologies gives us road surfaces with a solar panel and wireless charging units underneath a covering of transparent wood which converts sunlight into electricity, stores it in the road and provides it wirelessly to the cars above. Transparent wood is being developed in Sweden for solar panels as a cheap and renewable alternative to glass. These roads would be of great benefit to the environment, providing a cheap and easy way to power roadside services like emergency roadside telephones and street lighting. Currently, to charge your e-car, you must exit the road, pull into an e-car charging space and wait for up to 6 hours depending on the model of your car and the type of charger used. This is a great inconvenience, whereas charging eliminates this problem by charging on the go. These smart cars will also convert kinetic energy generated from going downhill into electricity to be stored on a lithium ion power cell to be used as a backup in rural areas. The cars can also use the Internet of Things, an AI like IBM Watson, to analyse data collected as the car is driven. This could be used to reduce congestion in our ever growing cities by suggesting alternative, less congested routes. Cars will talk to each other traffic lights ahead, even to the Met Office and emergency services. Imagine a car which warns you of black ice ahead because the car ahead has already detected it. Imagine a car which responds to a crash not just by deploying an airbag but by calling 999. Traffic lights which use real-time traffic data to only turn red when needed. These are the cars and roads of the future. This could also be used to make extremely accurate weather information by making every car a weather station. This would be especially useful when a hailstorm is approaching and you get an email from your car suggesting that it be moved inside to prevent damage. Even suggesting evacuation routes during an actual disaster when main roads may be blocked. I think the most popular form of transport in 2040 will be a smart recar and work by combining solar technology, wireless charging, IoT and AI.